Last week, one of my viewers asked me, hey, Alston, can you do a tutorial to show us how to find keywords using Ahrefs? And so in this video, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how I find keywords three different ways, in fact, on using Ahrefs to find keywords. Hi, my name is Alston Godbolt with AlstonGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pocket. And if you want to be added to the globe, comment down below with your city, state, zip code, province, or country and I'll get you pinned. Now I'm sure you're aware that Ahrefs is one of my go-to tools to help me make money online with affiliate marketing. It also can be a little confusing and a little overwhelming if you are not used to looking into it. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to look at three simple ways in order to find keywords for your affiliate marketing business. We're also gonna use ChatGPT to help this go a little bit faster. Now, one of the first things that you have to do before you even sit down to start doing keyword research is to think about the types of words and questions your target audience is asking. For example, we're going to use the vacation niche in order to help us find keywords. So the first thing that you wanna do is write down 10, 15, 20 different words that your target audience might be saying or might be using in order to get their ultimate objective, which is to travel to a destination and back. They might be typing in vacation. They might be typing in travel. They might be typing in something like safety, and those are good places to start. So if we jump into my computer, I'm just going to type in those words, vacation, safety, travel, and we're gonna see what pops up. I went ahead, hit enter, and what we're looking at is we're going to go down to matching terms. Now, before we do anything, let's quickly talk about what we are seeing here. On the left, we have keywords. In the middle, we have KD or keyword difficulty. Now, keyword difficulty is a scale between zero and 100. The closer it is to 100, the more difficult the keyword is going to be for a new website to rank. And then volume is the number of searches in the United States. As you can see, Costco Travel has a keyword difficulty of 24 and it's searched 82,000 times per month but then GV has a global difficulty, so around the world, of 955,000. And I don't really look at these other things just yet. I usually just focus on the first three metrics. As we can see here, the three keywords, there's uh, 7.2 million keywords using those three different combinations, and it's searched 48 million times per month. So what we can do right away is we can come up to Ahrefs and we can change the keyword difficulty from zero to let's say 10, something that's going to hopefully give us an opportunity to rank. So we're just gonna click on apply and we're gonna click show results. This is going to get rid of everything that is too difficult for a new website to rank for. So if we look at this, we can see Vegas Vacation Cast, JetBlue Travel Bank, and so on. So uh, Bell's Travel, Travel Backpack for Women, that has a keyword difficulty of five and it is searched about 12,000 times per month. That potentially could be a good keyword to go after, but we wanna do a little bit more research. So once again, you wanna start thinking about the different words that people are asking, things that they're saying, in order to come up with different ideas. One thing that we can do is we can include different words, maybe like the word for. So travel tips for seniors, travel tips for beginners. So we're just gonna include the word for. We can include as many words as we want to. Just make sure that you change it to any word or else you won't get the results that you're looking for. So we're gonna just do the word for right now, click apply, click show results, and we're gonna see how that changes things. Now, if we scroll down, we can look. Travel backpack for women, crossbody bags for travel, best travel backpack for women. So you can see just adding in the word for can help us find different keywords. And if we wanted to, we can add in all sorts of words that people are going to be typing in if they are thinking about buying. For example, if we wanted to include the word like under, so people are looking for like travel backpacks under $200, that could actually help us find other deals as well. Travel, and we're just gonna include the word under. So it's only gonna return results for the word for or the word under. And once again, when we click apply, show results, we're going to see that people are asking, use travel trailers under $5,000. That might not be the best for us. So this is just way number one. You just type in a series of keywords that are related to your, your target audience. Now, let's say you can't think of any keywords related to your target audience. We can go over to ChatGPT and we could just type in uh, keywords for the 
travel niche. All right, so we got that. And you can see that uh, Hrefs comes back with a bunch of different, different results. What you get may differ depending on when you're using it. I don't know, sometimes Hrefs is weird. But what we can do is, for example, we could do like, um, New York City vacations, that could be our keyword here. We could put that in and see what returns. But as you can see, uh, using software, using AI tools can make this much easier, but you can see travel insurance, visa requirements. These are all keywords that someone's going to be typing in when they are preparing to travel and you could use this to potentially make money. So we typed in New York City vacations, 129 keywords, a total volume of 1.3. Now, this could be a seed keyword to help us find other things, but it's very important to start thinking, okay, what questions would I ask if I was wanting to travel to a, a location? Um, things like restaurants in a location, hotels, things to do near, are all things that someone might be typing in if they want to travel to a location. I'll give you a perfect example. Um, in a few weeks, the Chicago Bears are going to go play the Kansas City Chiefs in football. They're going to Kansas City. Now, I've never been to Kansas City, so if I was go was to go to that game, I need to start thinking, okay, how long does it take me to drive from Chicago or, or where I live to Kansas City? What are the best places to eat while I'm in Kansas City? What are the best hotels? How far is the X hotel from the the stadium. These are all questions that people are going to be asking when they are planning on traveling somewhere. So put yourself in your customer's shoes. That's gonna be the simplest way to start getting keyword ideas. That's way number one. Way number two is actually my favorite and it's stealing our competitors' keywords. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I go about that. So I'm just gonna hit back here and we're going to go back to the other keywords that we found where we use the word for and under. So travel backpack for women. It, again, it has a keyword difficulty of five and uh, 12,000 searches per month. What we're actually going to do is we're going to take a closer look at this, uh, at this keyword. And we want to find, we, we want to find websites that are small that are ranking for keywords that we want to go after. And what I usually like to do is I'll click on the keyword like this. I'm going to scroll down and what I'm looking for um, and this is called the, the SERP overview. This is, these are the top 10 search results that show up on Google. These are the different websites that show up if I were to type in travel backpack for women. In this order, most of the time, th these are how the, these um, different websites show up, okay? And so if we're looking at this, this is the URL for the web page. These are the, this is the words, the number of words for the blog post. This is the DR, the domain rating. Now this is really important. And this is something that I wanna look closely at. The DR, just like the KD, has a scale between zero and 100. The closer 100 you get, the more competitive or the higher authority that website has. For example, YouTube has a DR of like 95, okay? So you don't want to go after target.com because it has a DR of 91. What we're looking for is we're looking for websites that are small and they have a DR between zero and maybe 25. Now, if I'm looking at this, look at this website right here, Best Travel Backpack for Women. This website that travelingchick.com has a DR of 14, and this could give us even more keywords to go after. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna open up this website, we're going to take a look, and we can see that this is a, a blog that's using Pinterest, hint, use Pinterest. They're making money because they have uh, ads, they are collecting emails. If we scroll down, they probably have affiliate links right here mixed in. You can see that they are, um, they're, they're an affiliate for Amazon. If you look at the lower left-hand corner, you can see that links over to Amazon. And this is something literally anybody can do. Now, from here, I'm going to do two things. One, I want to look at the, the keywords that this web page ranks for, and I want to look at the keywords that this entire website ranks for. Two very different things. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the name of this URL for the web page, and we're going to go over to Ahrefs, and I'm going to go to Site Explorer, 
and I'm going to paste in the URL like this. And now we can find potentially even more keywords that we can rank for. So now we can take a look at this. I'm gonna click at the keywords and now we can get a whole host of ideas of other websites that they're, other uh, keywords that they're potentially ranking for. So if we look at this, best travel backpack for women, women's travel backpack. Now, again, this is on that URL. This is for that web page. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna look and see what this entire website ranks for, okay? So I'm gonna copy the URL, thattravelingchick.com, like this, and I'm going to paste it in to Site Explorer. We can open up a new page if we want. We're going to paste this in just like that. This is gonna give us all the keywords that this entire website ranks for. So if we look at this, and I made a mistake, they've been around for a little bit longer, but um, if we look, they rank for 3.9 thousand keywords, and if we look, Travel backpack is prevalent. <laughs> Nude beaches in the US. That could be something that you rank for. If you are in the travel niche, I'm, I'm blushing a little bit. Uh, ladies travel backpack, new beaches is something they're spending a lot of time on. Six day Ireland itinerary. So maybe we could rank for keywords like itinerary. That's gonna give us an idea. So I could copy itinerary, something that I didn't think of, and we can come back over here and we could put in itinerary like this. Now we go to matching terms and we could potentially get even more ideas. Look at um, 131,000 keywords, 1.3 million searches per month. And once again, if we look, we see uh, Italy itinerary. We see Costa Rica, we see Spain, and we can go through this process again and adjusting this to 20 or less, show results. And we could actually create an itinerary for these people, Portugal, 10 day itinerary we saw, Alaska cruise. Oh, we can do cruise now. This gives us a lot of ideas, but now we can come back over here. And in my opinion, this is where it gets fun because we can start getting all sorts of ideas and then we can use this method to find other websites and those websites are gonna give us ideas. For example, um, this is the keyword for, all right, so this is the keyword for the entire website. What we could do, for example, is uh, best travel accessories for women. We can click on this keyword and then if we scroll down, we can try and find small websites once again. Okay, Happy happy Ever After Traveler is a website we weren't aware of. So we could go to this website and then we do the same thing with a singlewomentraveling.com. And then we can do the same thing with epictravelplans.com. And now we can find a million keywords that we didn't even know were available simply by jumping down this rabbit hole. Now, I know people are going to say that Ahrefs is too expensive. However, within however long we were doing this video, we already have a bunch of keyword ideas. You can go the free route to do keyword research, but it's going to take you longer. Okay. If you use a paid keyword research tool, you can find keywords faster. It's gonna save you time. So you just have to understand that trade-off. But if we look at epictravelplans.com, you can see once again, they are making money with the ads that show up. They probably have some affiliate links sprinkled in as well. But what we wanna do is we wanna grab the URL for the entire website, copy link address, come back over to Ahrefs and then do the same thing over again. And this is how you can find keywords really, really quickly. So if we look at this, they're ranking for 18,000 keywords. Click on this. And now once again, romantic getaways. Okay, we didn't know that word, that keyword was available. Romantic getaways in Texas. So now we've got another idea here that we can copy, come back over to our thing here and we can do romantic getaways just like this so this is how you can start figuring out different niches and different avenues to go down romantic getaways there's 14,000 keywords and it's searched over 381,000 times per month and then we can do the same thing once again hopefully you're able to see that there is lots of opportunities still on the internet we change the keyword difficulty for romantic getaways now look romantic getaways in colorado at keyword difficulty of 10 but it searched 2000 almost 3000 times per month romantic getaways in washington state we can click on this and then we can do this once again okay and so we look, we see, okay, this website, planreadygo.com, small website, we've got more ideas. So this is the second way, and this way is really, really fun. The third way we can do is we can simply just come up to Google and type in uh, vacation, vacation glossary. Now, these are a bunch of keywords and terms that people that want to go on a vacation that they're going to be typing in. 
And so we can even use ChatGPT, as you can see over here on the right-hand side, to help us with it. So vacation vocabulary word list, we can use this and we could just copy all of these just like this and we can paste them right into our keyword research tool like that. Make sure that you put in the commas or else it's gonna come back weird. So I'm just gonna do Keyword Explorer. I'm gonna paste this in like this and then um, I'm gonna hit return. I'm gonna come back to you once I get this figured out um, or taken care of. All right, so I got that cleaned up a little bit. Once again, we can come down to matching terms and we can see that those five keywords or there's over 5 million variations of that those five keywords and it searched 48 million times per month. And then once again, we can go through and change the keyword difficulty to 20 or less or, or 10 or less if you're a brand new website. But you can see that people are asking questions about all sorts of stuff. So the whole, hopefully you're able to understand how to find keywords. There's a three proven methods that I really like. Start thinking about what your target audience is, is asking. Where they want to go is always a good one. Uh, for example, if we just typed in the word Chicago, now most people that are typing in Chicago are going to visit Chicago. And so what things will they be typing in about Chicago? Where to stay, where to eat, best restaurants. If we look, um, some of this is going to talk about safety, how safe is Chicago. Um, they're going to be talking about the attractions, how to get different places. Hopefully you're able to start seeing. Let me know what you think, guys. Um, these are the three methods that I use to help me find keywords. And it's how I'm able to find keywords almost in, in any single niche. I don't think I've ever ran into an issue where I can't find low competition keywords. It's just a matter of understanding what your target audience wants to know. So the questions that they're asking, how to steal keywords from your, your competitors, and um, just keep looking. So. If this video helped, be sure to like, comment, share, follow, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And watch this video next because YouTube says it's going to help you build your online business.